There are two other kinds of unedible foods, which are not strictly speaking chametz, that we have to always remember. The first is what is called pasu me'achilat kelev. Pasu me, that's something that is no longer worthy to be dog food. He says, this is food that once was edible, and then something happened. You have to uh, make sure that if we have not yet reached the status of pasu me'achilat kelev, that the dogs are not going to eat this food, you have to make sure to get rid of that food. Even though you have food which is not very interesting and no one you know would really want to eat it, but unless it's kind of totally lost the name of Achilat Kelev, then, unless that is the case, then you have to get rid of it. Then you have to get rid of it. The only exception is food that is so rancid or ruined or... or, or or hardened uh, as that it's not Raul Achilas Kelev, that a dog would come over, sniff it, and walk away, and that that took place before the Zman HaIsar, before Erev Pesach at night, or I'm sorry, during, the, during the, the middle of the day, and then you're allowed to keep it with you on Pesach, you don't have to get rid of it, you don't have to burn it, you don't have to sell it, right? But... Again, you have this issue. If the uh, if it became pasul mechilat kelim on Pesach itself, that means when you entered Pesach, it was still edible, and on Pesach became unedible, you have to get rid of it. So that the fourth kind of chametz that we are that we may know about is the kind of chametz that became pasul mechilat kelim, or that will shortly become. Pasul me achilat kelev. The suggestion is get rid of it. Get rid of it with the chametz that you burn erev Pesach, because it would seem that it's not always easy to know which is pasul me achilat kelev and which is not, which is becoming pasul me achilat kelev and which is not. I mean, we're not always able to make that determination. We're not always able to make that determination. And since we're not always able to make that determination, we're better off uh, uh, looking upon it as though it still is chametz and getting rid of it before Pesach. Since you probably are not interested in keeping it around or eating it after Pesach, the operative suggestion, the operative suggestion is to make sure that it's destroyed that you burn it with the chametz, you burn Arab Pesach, that you throw it into the sea, that you break it up into crumbs and throw it down the toilet. All of these are good ways of getting rid of the chametz. So we've seen that there's a wide variety of chametz. There's chametz be'en, there's chametz betarovet. Uh, these are kinds of chametz that we have to be on the lookout for and make sure we get rid of them one way or the other. Then there's chametz nukshe, which was never really edible. It was never really something that uh, people would ordinarily eat. And the fourth is chametz she pasul me'achilat kelev. Chametz that's pasul me'achilat kelev should certainly not be uh, uh, kept around on Pesach, but you should get rid of it with the other chametz either by by burning it or throwing it away in some other way, in some other way, make sure that even something which is unclear, something which may or may not be chametz, uh, is gotten rid of.